everyone, so today's video is going to be a current favourites video. So I haven't done a favourites video since like last year, I believe, because I used to do every month's favourites. I have stopped doing those because I find them a little tedious to film and if I don't have that many products in a month, it feels like that video is going to be really short and not a proper video for review. So I thought I would just do current favourites every now and again, which I think will work a lot better. So I'm going to do a current favourites video. So first of all I'm going to start with this highlighter palette. I feel like I have mentioned it in a few videos and it is the Make It Revolution Ultra Pro Glow, Glow Palette. This has actually become my life. Like if I put on a highlighter it will usually be this one. This one I use this one for school and yeah I just love it. Unfortunately yesterday when I was playing around with makeup, I was using this, and I left it on the edge of my windowsill, and it fell on the floor, and it broke, so this bit broke, this bit shattered, and I've managed to fix it, I'm sure, it's hopefully going to be alright, this is a shade that I don't use as much anyway, so it doesn't matter all that much, okay, that's just come off, we'll just take that off, um, but the rest of the shades, I really love them, I would say that these two are the ones that I don't use as much and these two are definitely the ones I use the most and you can see I've hit pan on this one and if this one smashed I would smashed if this one smashed I would actually cry you can see where it's coming up from the edges but it didn't smash so we're all good um, but it's literally because I'm so pale it's the perfect shade for me and it's so beautiful I'm gonna swatch it and just how pigmented these are this palette was £10 I think and you get such pigmented colours like I can't add them they're so beautiful they're just such good highlighters so if you can get your hands on this then pick it up because they do have a lot of shade ranges as well so I feel like it goes from like pale to darker skin tones and they've also got like pink colours which is nice if you like shimmery, shimmery blush and they are just gorgeous so I totally recommend this on two palettes I also have the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Textured Eyeshadow Palette this is actually like amazing like the pigmentation in this palette is amazing like I'm going to say amazing too many times it has a really nice ratio of shimmery shades to matte shades there are more matte shades which is good because I feel like when you do a look you do use more matte shades and then the shimmery shades are more or less all of them are textured so the pigment in them is really really good they don't apply as well with a brush um, which is why you have to use your finger I'm pretty sure it's recommended that you use your finger it says directions apply gently around the eyes with a brush foil textures deliver the maximum payoff when applied with fingertips so that is what I have been doing when I've used the foil texture eyeshadows you can see the texture in them um, and then the matte ones are literally just as pigmented and they blend really really nicely some of my favourite shade in, shades in this palette um, for the shimmery ones I really like the shade Angelic and Moon Dust. these are two like of my go to shades and then for the matte shades I really like the shade Henna I think it's a really beautiful warm orange actually so beautiful I really really like them and then a matte one so I'll swatch Henna pigment is crazy look at that pigment they are so gorgeous and if you can get your hands on this then I recommend you do I got mine from cult beauty so if it's in stock there then you should definitely get it so next I have this highlighting product and it is the Maybelline Massa strobing stick illuminating highlighter this is basically just a highlighter stick I know they have two shades and mine's in the shade 001 light iridescent and it's a really like purpley toned highlighter shade this is a really really nice cheek highlighter but what I have been loving this for is under my foundation it seems strange but it's such a glowy product can you see that glow it is a really nice glowy product but I've just been using it like under my foundation because it gives you such a nice healthy glow look um, you don't need to put too much, I usually just put a little bit on my forehead, my cheek, my chin and that will give me some nice glow if I want a really nice dewy finish I just really like it for that reason, you're probably not even supposed to use it for that because it is just a cheek highlighter but that is what I have been loving it for 
and the product consistency is really really nice and it doesn't make your skin feel too oily when you have it on which is what I like about it. Then I've got a product that I mentioned in my first impressions video and it is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade made and I absolutely love this like it has been my go-to brow product so before I tried this the only product I had used was the Soap and Glory brow archery pencil and I had used a lot of eyeshadows so powder products to do my eyebrows which is why the pomade was new to me and at first when I tried this I really didn't like it I didn't like the texture of it and I found it came out too pigmented this is in the shade medium brown and it's actually perfect for me if I use a light hand. It is brilliant and even if I don't use a light hand I can still blend it out with a spoolie. But with an angled brush this just works so so well and I just love it. There isn't much more to say about it. I got mine from Beauty Bay so if you want to try it then go for it because it's such a good product. I have some fake eyelashes which isn't usually something that would be in my videos. So I've got the... Ardell Demi Wispies in black. These are sort of eyelashes that people talk about so so much. Mine are sort of falling out of the packet but they're such beautiful eyelashes, they just are. So I hadn't really been a fake eyelash person because of my glasses but these ones work well with them, they work fine and they don't get too annoying. It's just how natural these look on. They, they give you that volumised look but they also look so natural which is why I like to use them in eye look photos. These are, they're so natural and I really want to pick up some more because they're so good. Like I just love them so much. These were from Beauty Bay and I think they were around £4 or something like that so I totally recommend these eyelashes because they are my faves. And I've got some brushes. So these are brushes that I got for my birthday and they are the Morphe eye brushes. So I have got M502, R37 and M511. These two I tend to use for eyeshadow. They're really, really nice blending brushes. They blend really nicely. They're nice and soft. Um, this is a little bit stained right now because I was using pink eyeshadow on it. But they, they're just really, really nice blend, blender brushes. So I totally recommend Morphe brushes. And then the R37 one, although it is like an eyeshadow brush and it's quite small, I've actually found that it works really well for highlighter, especially in like this palette I use so I'll dip it into this shade and I'll put it on my cheeks on my nose on my cupid's bow and it just does the job really well I feel like smaller brushes pick up the pigment on a highlighter so much better than fan brushes I do really want to try like the real techniques I want to say it's a setting brush it's like to set powder I want to try that one for highlighter because it's like an eyeshadow brush it's just a little bit bigger which I think will be a better size for highlighter but at the moment I really like this and I also like this one particularly because it has the rose gold handle. Then I have got some lip products so I have got these Colourpop lippy sticks. So I had never tried the Colourpop lippy sticks before and then I did a Colourpop order like last month I want to say and oh my god I can't at these. The pigment and the consistency of these is absolutely amazing. I've got one of them on now. I've got the red one which is called Trust Me and it is a matte one and it is so gorgeous. They're so pigmented, they go on so well and the packaging is nice and they smell like vanilla so how could you... they're just amazing. So all of the ones that I have are matte formulas. So I've got Tootsie which is a nude and then I've got Chateau which is a vampy colour. So I'm going to do some close-up swatches because I want to show you guys how smoothly they go on. So if you're going to pick up Colourpop lip products, I, as much as I love the liquid lipsticks, I just recommend these so much and I really want more of them because they are, they're just stunning products and I think they're like five dollars each, which Colourpop is actually a really good website to get from, although you usually do have to pay customs, if you spend over the amount, which I think it's $50, which is around 40 something pounds, then you get free shipping if you're international. So the customs you get sort of like turns into the shipping. It's still annoying, but it's also totally worth it because their products are amazing. And I tend to only do Colourpop hauls like in bulk, so I'll do big orders because I don't see the point in just ordering like two things. I just, it doesn't really seem worth it and their shipping times are so good, like they come so fast. So everything about Colourpop I just recommend, really to be fair, 
if you want me to do like a overall ColourPop review on like all their products that they have video then just let me know because I would like to do one of those as they are literally one of my favourite brands. I've got two products that aren't makeup products so the first thing is this Mango Body Shop Shower Gel. I just needed to mention this because it is just a gorgeous shower gel. Um, it just smells incredible. One of my favourite smells just smells like mango and I really want to try their other shower gels because their sh shower gels are really nice consistency, they give you nice bubbles and it's just a top quality quality shower gel and also this would be a really good birthday or Christmas gift or gift for any time in the year. They are just really really nice products and I just thought it was worth a mention. Then the last product that I have is this Garnier New Micellar Oil Infused Cleaning cleansing water for dry and sensitive skin and it looks like this so it's literally like the water with a layer of oil on the top and when you use it you're supposed to shake it so that it mixes together and then it goes like a horrible milky colour and it's supposed to be really good at taking your makeup off and I have to say this is really really nice so I've been using the normal micellar water for such a long time and this one intrigued me so I thought I'd give it a try and it removes, because it has the oil in it, I feel like oil products, they break down makeup so well. So waterproof makeup, it will break down because of the oil it's in. They break down liquid lipsticks so well and it comes off so easily. Because it has the oil in it and it says it's for dry and sensitive skin, it really moisturises your skin. Like, after I've taken my makeup off with this, I feel like I don't need to moisturise because it feels so, so nice on your skin. The only thing that I don't like about this product is it tends to sting my eyes, although it gets off the eye makeup really well, it just for some reason gets into my eyes and decides to sting them. So I tend to just use the other micellar water for my eyes, but I will use this on my lips and my face because it just feels so so good. So it does say it removes even waterproof makeup, cleanses and nourishes and my skin does feel really nourishing after I have used this. So. If you want to try this then I totally recommend that you do. That is it for my current favourites. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!